I don't closely follow the custom amiibo scene, so the idea to make my own didn't occur naturally to me. But checking out other YouTube creators inspired me to make this custom Super Mario Serial Amiibo. It's ridiculously easy and inexpensive to make. As a keepsake, it offers the same functionality as the full-sized box but in a compact form, so you could replace your large box with something smaller if you desired. Let me show you how I made it. Really quickly before I begin, I want to share my two direct inspirations for this project. First was Nintendrew's custom amiibo video. Using a 3D printer, he made several custom amiibo, including one for a Super Mario cereal. As he showed how to make them, I thought it was a really cool idea. Unfortunately, I don't have easy access to a 3D printer, but I darn sure know how to make a miniature box. Recreating functional boxes in a smaller scale has sort of been my thing lately. All I would need is a good quality scan of the original. I could scan my own cereal box or see if someone else had already done so. That search brought me to Gandacris' custom cereal amiibo video. Her video provides links to the scaled down box scan that you'll see me use and for extra credit, backing card art if you want to make a new in box style custom. She also added lots of cute little flourishes to her amiibo that I won't be doing here, but if you are interested in seeing more custom amiibo, check out her channel. I've linked to both of these videos in the cards and the description below. When I showed this custom in the past, I called it the world's cheapest amiibo. In the time since, it has been dethroned, but as you'll see, the material cost to make this is still really low. The most expensive and important thing you'll need is a box of Super Mario cereal. You'll need this red box that includes an amiibo NFC tag on the back. This blue box doesn't include one of these tags. You can make an amiibo out of this box and it'll be very accurate as it won't function as an amiibo. Unfortunately, the red box is currently out of print. If you don't already have one, and unless you have an NFC tag writer, you'll have to try to find one on the secondary market. We need to remove the NFC tag from the back of this box, so let's operate. I opened up the box so I would know exactly where the tag is. I didn't want to cut blindly, potentially cutting into the tag and ruining it. With the tag free, you now have other options. If you didn't want to have a cereal box amiibo, you could create your own custom or turn any suitable related merchandise you have handy into an impromptu amiibo figure. It's technically considered to be in the delicious amiibo series as opposed to a Mario series, so consider keeping it somewhat food related. But for me, I wanted to make a miniature box. I printed the provided file on regular glossy paper. Before printing, I scaled the provided image down a bit further as I wanted my box to measure around 3 inches tall. Then I used spray adhesive to glue the glossy paper to this brown cardstock. This cardstock was purchased from a craft store, but it's easy to imagine plenty of free scrap alternatives. I waited for the glue to set and carefully cut it out. Next, I scored the fold lines and made my folds nice and crisp. I shaped up the box and used a glue stick to glue up the side seam and the bottom flaps. I considered leaving the box top unglued so it could be opened. I like being able to see the contrast of the printed surface and the unfinished cardstock. It's so much like the original. Ultimately, I decided to go ahead and glue the box closed. To ensure the box keeps its shape if mishandled, it would be a good idea to fill it with a firm interior piece, like an accurately sized wood scrap for instance. I didn't have anything like that available, so I left mine empty. You could paste the amiibo tag on the inside of the box, making for a highly accurate reproduction of the full box. But instead, I wanted to add a functioning base to its bottom, so it can better fit in aesthetically with other amiibo. My initial thought was to use a wide mouth bottle cap of some sort. The more I thought about it, the more I wanted to mimic the dual color bases of most official amiibo. Many custom makers cut bases off of official amiibo to achieve this effect. I'm fine if others do that, but I can't afford that kind of destructive kit bashing, so I searched for another solution. To honor Mario's heritage, I grabbed a couple of Paisano approved seasoning bottles. These are really cheap store brands and one of the caps is slightly larger. I used a hot glue gun to secure the NFC tag in the center, then I laid a bead of glue around the edge and nested the caps together. In hindsight, it would have been nice to have weighted the base. I think I could have enclosed some large washers, for instance. Finally, I glued the box to my new base, and that's all there is to it. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I decided to keep this simple as well, but with some ingenuity and craft work, you could customize this further and make it uniquely your own. If you think about it, this custom amiibo is officially canon, but there is something missing. Come on, Nintendo, you know what to do.
As you saw, I wasn't the first person to make this custom amiibo, but I tried to bring something unique to my tutorial. If I brought you a giggle, please consider sharing this video with others who have similar tastes. Likes and nice comments really make a YouTuber's day, and consider subscribing. These things are greatly appreciated and will help this channel grow. Thanks for watching until the end. Take care of yourself and each other.